First and only on Fox tonight, bull thieves targeting and stealing cars here in Houston. So far this year, as many as 1500 vehicles have been stolen in Houston every month. These statistics are shocking. About 40 cars are stolen in Houston every single day. That's about two cars an hour. Fox 26's Matthew Seedorf live tonight with the exclusive report on the top five vehicles that burglars are taking and why Matthew. Well, Rashi, there's definitely a trend. Walk in any Houston parking lot, you'll see a wide variety of cars. So it's surprising when you see one vehicle stolen so much more than the others. Shameless thieves targeting the same pickup truck, driving away with it twice in just four months. We thought we got lucky, we got it back. We were like happy about it. But then, then it happened again. Jacqueline Garcia now looking for her husband's stolen 2003 Chevy Silverado for a second time. Like two, two minutes and they took it. Thieves taking the truck from outside their apartment in Spring Branch. There's just a lot of uh, people stealing cars nowadays, I guess. There's a Tahoe which is a Chevy truck. At the Houston Police Department impound lot, they're seeing a new trend. There's GMC Sierra right there. GMC and Chevy trucks taken here after being found stolen. They're literally stealing it and selling it within hours. We uncovered the top five most stolen vehicles so far this year in Houston. Number one, by far, the Chevy Silverado, followed by GMC, Ford, and Dodge trucks, but if you combine the makers, it's even more unbelievable. It's stolen. GM trucks account for more than half of the top five most stolen cars in the city. How quickly can thieves steal one of these cars? If they're taking longer than two minutes, then they're just not a professional. Late last year, Chevy and GMC fixed the problem, making their trucks harder to steal. My husband's looking to buy another truck, but he's wondering if to get the same kind. Um, the other new stolens are... Uh, the fast version of the um, the Grand Cherokee. But now a warning from police for everyone else. Go drop the $400, you know, for upgraded alarms, uh, kill switches, uh, tracking devices. We did reach out to Chevy and GMC. So far, we haven't heard back, but definitely a good reminder to at least look at those new alarms. We're live in the Heights tonight. Matthew Seedorf, Fox 26.